Hey Puzzlers, Steve here with another video. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different today, not doing a puzzle, but rather sharing with you a book that I've published on Amazon. So I apologize, I haven't done any puzzles recently on the channel because I've been working hard to get this book done before Christmas. I do think it'd be a perfect stocking stuffer for anyone who loves puzzles. It's $9.99 on the website. I'll post the link in the description below. But as you can see here, there are 30 different uh, variants and 100 puzzles all together. Each puzzle uh, has three different um, sets, one for easy, medium, and hard. You can see there's extra region puzzles where regular Sudoku rules apply, but the shaded cells must also contain the digits one through nine without repeating. So we have a few of those. We have a four box here where there's four extra regions. We have um, an offset Sudoku where every cell in the same location of the box uh, must contain a different digit. We have anti-diagonals uh, and diagonal Sudoku where uh, digits can't repeat on the diagonals here. We have chess Sudokus, so anti-knight and anti-king Sudokus. We have argyle Sudokus where basically digits can't repeat on these diagonals. We have um, the anti-diagonal where instead of having all different digits, you're going to only have three different digits on each diagonal. So here you see 932, 932, 932. And in the other diagonal, you're going to have 634, 634, and 634, uh, and so forth. You have jigsaw Sudoku where regular Sudoku rules apply, but instead of having a 3x3 three three box as the regions, you're going to have random regions. Uh, so lots of fun there. Killer Sudoku, where instead of giving you digits, they give you some totals. So these two cells, for instance, would add up to 15. These two cells would add up to 10, and so forth. You have greater than Sudokus, where the clues are greater than or less than symbols. So you can see this cell here, for instance, would be less than the cell to the left and the right, but greater than the cell below. We have even and odd Sudokus, where square symbols would be uh, even digits, circle symbols would be odd digits to help you solve. Consecutive Sudoku gives you symbols uh, between cells indicating whether the digits are consecutive or not. So for instance, uh, this would be a 3 down here because it's next to a 4. Uh, or it could be a 5, right? A 3 or a 5 would be consecutive with that 4. If there's no symbol, then the digits cannot be consecutive. So for instance, this cell up here could not be a five or a three. There's also non-consecutive, where essentially no digits next to each other may be consecutive. There's Sukaku, where they're giving you pencil marks of all the possible digits. So this cell can only be a six or nine, and you have to figure it out by using the other pencil marks that are provided. Chains, uh, not my favorite. This is basically another variation of the Jigsaw Sudoku where they're giving you different regions. Uh, it just looks a little different, but it's essentially a Jigsaw Sudoku. Frame Sudoku, I've not done a video on this one, uh, but I plan on doing one soon. The numbers along the outside are the sum totals of the first three digits. So these three digits here would add up to 15 these three digits here would add up to 20 and so forth. Then we have skyscraper Sudokus. I think I've done a couple videos on these. Uh, it's a hybrid between a skyscraper puzzle and a Sudoku where the digits represent buildings and the height of those buildings. So uh, the clues along the outside tell you how many buildings you see from looking at that perspective. So with a nine being the tallest building, you're not gonna be able to see any buildings behind it. So this person here, would only see one building. Uh, and then the opposite would be the case uh, here with this four, you would see four buildings uh, from that perspective. Now a tripod Sudoku, this is actually probably the most unique one that uh, is in the book, at least in my opinion, and probably my new favorite. How it works is regular Sudoku rules apply, but they're going to be jigsaw regions, so random regions but you don't know what the regions are. You have to figure out what the regions are and they give you some clues with these dots. So you have to basically draw the regions in. Uh, so lots of fun. I found it to be pretty challenging, but uh, stimulating nonetheless. Sudoku Mines, this was actually my favorite puzzle previous uh, to Tripod before I discovered this puzzle. This was my favorite puzzle. 
Uh, it's like Minesweeper, but uh, in every row, column, and three by three box, you can only have three mines. And so that's a, that's a fun little twist there. There's Sujikin, which will probably be the next video I'm gonna do. It's basically a half Sudoku, uh, but they give you the added constraint that digits cannot repeat along the diagonals. So that's a lot of fun. XV Sudoku, an X between two cells mean they add up to 10, and a five or a V between two symbols mean they add up to five. Uh, so a simple variant there. Outside Sudoku essentially means the three digits along the outside are going to be uh, represented in the first three digits of the grid. So uh, this 4, 1 have to appear somewhere in these three cells. This 5, 3 have to appear somewhere in these three cells uh, and so forth. Uh, Rossini uh, basically says that if there's an arrow, the three digits in the first three cells will have to uh, ascend or descend in a given order. So this might be like three, six, nine, you know, going in increasing order that way. Here is the opposite. The, these three numbers are going to um, ascend going down. And if there's no arrows, then they are going to be jarbled. It might be like three, five, two, something like that. So lots of fun with Rossini. And then we have monster Sudokus, or basically they're just uh, larger uh, versions of your regular Sudoku, and we have merged Sudokus as well, where it's multiple Sudokus uh, merged on top of one another. Uh, not my favorite, but I know other people out there really enjoy them, so I wanted to throw out a few of those. And lastly, we have two unique puzzles where they're very similar to a Sudoku, but they're different shapes. Here we have um, triangles, and and, and so the digits one through nine must appear in each triangle uh, and not repeat in any of the rows. And here we have another version of a triangle puzzle using a lot of the same principles as Sudoku. And lastly, your hundredth puzzle is a word doku, where in here you're going to find the word thank you uh, for purchasing the book and thank you for completing it and uh, giving it a shot. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Then, of course, you have all the answers. So... Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Again, it's on Amazon, uh, $9.99, and please leave a review. Let me know what you guys think of it. I really enjoyed making it and uh, plan on doing more of these in the future. Uh, the next book I'm planning on is just a logic puzzle book, so no Sudokus, but just fun logic puzzles like uh, Minesweeper and Battleship and, and so forth. So anyways, uh, Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe if you want more uh, videos in the future like this. And leave a comment. I'm curious to hear what you guys think of it. And I uh, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a great night. Thanks, everyone. Bye.